Hello students, in this session we are going to discuss about lattice energy and the problems based on lattice energy. Here the definition of lattice energy is the amount of energy released when one mole of ionic crystal is formed from the oppositively charged gaseous ions. Here the important points are energy released when one mole of ionic crystal is formed from oppositively charged gaseous ions or we may also defined as the amount of energy required to break one mole of ionic crystal into its constituent oppositively charged gaseous ions. For example, in the formation of sodium chloride crystal, when one mole of sodium gaseous ion approaches the one mole of chloride gaseous ion and form one mole of sodium chloride ionic crystal. In this, the amount of energy released is known as the lattice energy because energy is releasing here we are using negative charge so this kind of reactions are known as exothermic reactions and we will also give an example for the definition of lattice energy when sodium chloride ionic crystal the amount of energy required to break one mole of sodium chloride ionic crystal into its constituent oppositively charged sodium ion and also chloride ion. Here the energy is needed to break those bonds. That's why we are using positive value. This kind of reactions are known as endothermic reactions. So it is lattice energy energy released in the formation of ionic crystals energy required to break one mole of ionic crystal into its constituent oppositively charged ions now we have a formula to calculate lattice energy that equals to lattice energy equals to k which is constant q1 q2 by r here Q1 means charge on cation, we may write as Q plus, Q2 means charge on anion, may write as Q minus, R equals to radius, or the distance between cation and anion. For example, it is cation sodium plus ion it is anion the distance between both means nucleus of sodium cation and valency shell of chloride ion that is called a distance so r we may written as rc plus re we can also write the uh, formula of uh, lattice energy in this way here Q plus Q minus are the charge of cation and anion respectively. RC plus RA are radius of cation at the distance between totally called as the distance between cation and anion. Here K is depends on K depends on it is a constant geometrical arrangement of ions. Geometrical arrangement of ions and k value is different for different substances different for different substances now when we remove k value and is equals to we get a relation lattice energy is proportional to charge of cation and charge of anion and the distance radius of cation and the radius of anion based on this relation we will solve some problems based on lattice energy. From this relation, we write four relations. Lattice energy is directly proportional to charge on cation. Lattice energy is also directly proportional to charge of anion. Lattice energy is inversely proportional to radius of cation. 
lattice energy is inversely proportional to radius of anion. Now we'll see one by one. Lattice energy is directly proportional to charge on cation. For example, in these ionic substances, anion is common, common anion, but cation is different. Here the charge of sodium ion is plus 1, magnesium ion plus 2, aluminum ion is plus 3. When charge increases, lattice energy also increases so that we are writing less than. It is an increasing order of lattice energy. We will take uh, next example that is lattice energy is also directly related to or proportional to charge on anion. So we will take one example on this. It is alumina, it is aluminium nitrite. Cation is same, common cation in these two substances but anion is different. Here the charge on anion is minus 2, here the charge on anion is minus 3 according to our relation. When charge increases, lattice energy also increases. Here the relation is less than again. The third one is lattice energy is inversely proportional to charge on cation, sorry, radius of cation. So for this example, we will see lithium fluoride, sodium fluoride, potassium fluoride. Here the anion is common, common anion containing substances. Lithium, sodium, potassium are the cations in this. We know in the trend of periodic property atomic radius, atomic size or atomic radius increases from top to bottom in a group. So lithium, sodium, potassium from top to bottom atomic size increases so lithium is less in energy less in size lithium has small size among them so when size is low lattice energy will be high now lattice energy of lithium fluoride is maximum here than sodium fluoride next potassium fluoride. It is the decreasing order of lattice energy of substances in which uh, common anion and different cations are present. Now the fourth relation is lattice energy is inversely proportional to radius of anions, size of anion. So we will see the example for this is sodium chloride, sodium bromide, and sodium iodide whose lattice energy is more according to our relation here the size of chlorine is less why because in halogen group fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine when we down the group ionic uh, size increases atomic size increases and ionic size also increases so here anion fluoride ion has a small size iodide ion has large size so smaller the size of anion lattice energy will be higher so sodium chloride has more lattice energy than sodium bromide and sodium iodide it is the decreasing order of lattice energy of the following compounds now solve this problem NaF, MgO, AlN, whose lattice energy will be maximum. Simply, we may go through cation size or anion size, or we may go through cation charge and anion charge. When the competition in between size and charge, charge predominates the size. So first we go through charge, then only we go to size if charge is same. See sodium plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so from both 
based on q1 q plus and q minus based on the when charge of cation and anion charge on cation and anion increases lattice energy also increases now what is the order it is the order so aluminum nitride has more lattice energy than that of magnesium oxide and sodium fluoride in this so this is the way how to find lattice energy of ionic crystals very easily so remember this relation to find these problems this kind of problems thank you students thank you very much